What's going on everyone? Well, as you can see here, I have the Amazon exclusive SPD Omega Ranger with his Uniforce cycle. Now, as far as being an Amazon exclusive, that's just here in the US. I know he's already been spotted at certain stores overseas, but if you want your own, I have the link down below. And uh, yeah, what do you say we just jump right into this review? So what do you say we start off with the accessories? Uh, let's just go ahead and get the little ones out of the way first. So he comes with uh, this capture card right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Try to get it focused. Uh, it's very small. There you go. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of details on it. Uh, because it's all one white plastic mold, you really can't see the details that well on camera. But yes, he does come with that. He also comes with one extra open palm hand along with his two grip hands that's on the figure currently. He also comes with his uh, blast hand. Now, a lot of you might be thinking this might just be a reuse of the Psycho ones, but it is not. Uh, the Psycho one has more of a, I don't know, a claw shape to it, as to where this one is just an open palm. Uh, as you can see, it's all one translucent plastic piece that's just been painted white by the hands right there, as you can see. Some of the clear yellows coming through the white, but yes. All right. Next up, we have the unicycle itself. Uh, pretty straightforward, very nice paint apps. The wheels do move. Uh, I don't know why this back one will move, but it's nice that it does. It also comes with a kickstand if you want to display it. The kickstand does go up. Rolls forward pretty easily. Now, a good note is that this one was actually really tight when I first started doing it. I had to take a hairdryer to it to be able to push it close but I eventually got it closed. There is some assembly required. You got the uh, pegs back here and then the handlebars over there. These do click into place and these do these. So yeah, there you go, pretty straightforward. Okay, so next up we'll go into the Ranger itself. It is pretty much your basic Lightning Collection Power Ranger figure. There you go good looking figure. Now there has uh, been some recent, uh, I don't know what you would call it, uh, outcry about the lack of paint apps that have been going on. Like the first few sets of waves were pretty decent. Uh, they weren't really missing too many small details. Uh, but here as you can see the morpher isn't painted but it has a lot of details molded into it and the uh, handle does open and shut. It is removable, so therefore, because it's removable at the cuff, it can rotate. You got your basic uh, ball joint and hinge on the head. You can look up that much, look down that much. Uh, not much side to side. Full 360 rotation. You got the butterfly shoulder joints. Double jointed elbows, which kind of tight. Wrist rotation, let's see here, yep. They can go up that much, down that much, full 360. You got a bicep swivel, no arm cuff. You got ball jointed leg, that'll go forward this far, and back that far, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot cuff swivel, and then your Hasbro basic ankle rocker, side to side, forward that much, backwards that much. You also have the uh, torso swivel and then an ab crunch. So yeah, just your pretty basic average lightning collection figure. I do think, however, that it is a slightly smaller, slimmer mold than the older one, but we'll get to that during the comparison reviews. Uh, there is no unhelmeted helmet face sculpt, just the helmet itself, which is fine. Uh, then of course you have back here where it does not have the paint apps. And uh, I know a lot of people online were complaining about that, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's a $20 figure, you know, you're not going to get super detailed paint apps for this price range, uh, especially when they come with this hunk of plastic right here that they Surprisingly, it did paint very well, actually. Uh, so probably most of the budget for this figure went into the unicycle itself. But yes, uh, you have the SPD belt buckle, which is indented, but not 
colored in. And then you have right here, instead of using the Red Ranger one where it was molded in and then painted, this one is just painted on. So you might want to be careful when posing this figure that this could chip off and then you'd really be out of luck then, unless you paint it on yourself. Okay. Okay, so what do you say now we mount the figure to the cycle? Now the best way I've seen so far to put them on the easiest is to go ahead and just put the hands on the handlebars. Go ahead and start posing your figure as if he was going to ride it. And then just go ahead and pop these in like so. And that is how I find it the easiest, personally, to get him on without struggling too, too much. I mean, obviously, he can go down lower and work with it, but you get the overall gist of it. Okay, so comparison time. Uh, here you have the SPD Omega Ranger. Then you have them next to the uh, SPD Red Ranger. Now, this is what I was talking about early in the review, where this body actually looks slimmer than this one. I don't know if that's coming off on camera, but in person, there is uh, some definite weight loss on this figure. Now, I don't know if this is just for this Ranger in particular, or if this is the new body mold that they have switched to. Uh, personally, I kind of like... The uh, slimmer tone one. I have no issues with this one. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This one looks more show accurate because, you know, the Sentai footage from the show is all Japanese actors and they are super skinny in the show. But yes, this one, not obviously as muscular as the Bandai ones with the abs, but this one just looks like he's bulkier. Like he hit the gym pretty hard. Then, of course, you have him next to the Shadow Ranger. And just for another comparison, here he is. Oh. Here he is with the GameStop exclusive Psycho Blue. A little bit taller, not by much. So yeah, overall, I probably give this figure an eight out of ten. I love the fact that it comes with the Unifor Psycho. Uh, I love the fact that this part right here is movable and twistable. Uh, I don't like the fact that this is painted on as to where this one was sculpted on. So if this one chipped off the paint, you could still see that there was a badge there. Unlike this one, if the paint chips off, you won't see the badge anymore. Lack of paint details here. Great paint apps on the helmet sculpt, though. So yeah, overall, 8 out of 10, had some minus points for the missing paint apps that were, uh... Now, they hadn't done it on this figure, where the sculpted is there, and they painted this part right here. Uh, I probably would have given this one a lot higher score, but the fact that they did went out of their way, sculpted... I don't know why they just didn't reuse this arm in general. It's clearly the same base. Uh... This one, obviously, is more cuffed, but they could have just reused this part. I don't know if it's because of this skinnier mold. Uh, there. You can really tell that it is much skinnier here. So, yeah. 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah. Link down below where you can get this. Thank you for watching my review. And until the next time, guys, later.